selectors enable you to set up your dashboard so that users can select what data they want to view and display components like charts. In this tutorial, you will review how to configure a selector. Note that this tutorial covers features available in SAP Business Objects Dashboards 4.0, Build 14.0.0.760. To navigate, use the viewer controls. Once you have added a selector to your dashboard, such as a set of radio buttons, you must first define the labels for the component. You can manually enter the labels or extract them from the data in the embedded spreadsheet. Next, select how you want the selector to function. The primary purpose of a selector is to insert data into a specific cell or set of cells. The type of data it inserts depends on the insertion type. For example, you can choose to enter the position of the selected item, the label, or an entire row of data, among other options. Next, select the source data for the selector. This encompasses all of the data that could be inserted into a cell or set of cells by the selector. Finally, define the destination for the selector, which is the cell or set of cells into which the selector will insert the data. Once the selector is set up, you can bind a display component, such as a chart, to the destination cells where the selector will insert the data. When a user chooses a specific item, the selector inserts the data associated with that item into the destination cells, which are then reflected in the display component. You have successfully reviewed how to configure a selector. This is the end of the tutorial.